What's up, everybody? It's your favorite. What's up, Four Eyes? Favorite nerd. And today we are looking at the Steel Bug, Steel Pest bit of business. Whatever this is, this is sent to me by uh, Hong from 215 as well to take a look at. You know, I don't know what this is, what this is supposed to be. It's all going to be fairly objective here. Um, of course, I'll give my opinion because I can't help but to. This is a, an accessory it comes with. It's totally die cast shovel. It's got these two holes in it that I tried to get to peg into almost anything. Uh, but the holes are too big um, for any of these pegs. Now you can it's held there with tension between pieces of plastic and such, but that kind of works, uh, but I don't think it is its intention. However, what do I know? Uh, but I couldn't find another place for it to go. Like it seems like you know it would fit in there, but it you can't get it to but you would I, would I would like to have this on his back some kind of way not gonna happen apparently uh, other accessories are his, his guns which you can see holds just well we'll talk about them briefly uh, they're fine you know like they've got paint on them red and silver the paint is done well and it looks cool it's got that uh, glossy paint there and the scope you know it's fine put that over there put this over there and then he's got like this, uh, this sort of rifle thing. Once again, the paint is done really well. And you can uh, fold this up and we'll attach this to the back of the tank a little bit later on. As for this guy, I don't know. I mean, <laughs> I, just, I don't know what the angle is here, but it doesn't matter. I guess we'll talk about it. So the head is on a hinge here and it swivels as well. So that's the articulation. Uh, I wish it had another swivel from the neck to the head as opposed to the neck to the torso but whatever the eyes are painted red silver and gold silver and gold are also painted and they work well and the jaw articulates on a hinge up and down he's got a little bit of a uh, what is it called underbite and uh, he's got like his eyebrows are asymmetrical which I guess gives him a little I mean there's tons of character here uh, I'll say that I'm not sure if the character is anything that I'm interested in per se but it is there Shoulders, you get a swivel here, um, and then you get a ball peg here, so you get all that as well. A little bit limited, like if you were not to move this, like a little bit limited because of the sculpt here blocking the ball peg, as you can see. But uh, yeah, and then the swivels there at the ball peg as well, <clears throat> and then you get a hinge here. So I mean, there is a, there is a lot of articulation here, given given what it is. You know, it, you would look at this and and not think there was enough, but you can pull off some pretty uh, interesting poses for the very limited hardware, I guess that is here. Gold paint, silver paint, all done well. Red paint, silver paint, all done well. Black paint, all done well. All the paint is done well, and there's plenty of it. Silver paint here. This doesn't, like, lock together. So you might consider this an ab crunch, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, why not? Uh, on the back, you got silver paint, red paint up in there, black paint, silver paint, silver paint, all done well. There's, there's, like I said, there's a lot of paint here. And then on the uh, thighs, they're on universal joints. So you get the whole swivel no problem and then out to there and then it has a knee as well uh, that like pretty much you only get the back knee of it because it's you know it's like a dog leg so it goes all the way around and then you get an ankle tilt as well no rocker I, I have found that like when I go to, to articulate them I usually start pulling them apart um, transformation wise and then these up here are on ball pegs as well so you can you know, get them up, you know, or out to the side to about there or more together in the back, whatever. Suit your little needs. Uh, he does have die cast in him. The, the legs, I think, are entirely die cast. Uh, and that might be it. But he does have a significant amount of weight to him. Actually, these pieces back here might be die cast as well. Um, if that was of, of uh, importance to you. All right, so let's get him transformed. He untabbed the the legs and wrap them around and then you can bring this piece up bring the head up and that tucks in there the legs peg together and then they wrap around and cover 
face. And then these two tabs there, you should try to have them as straight as you can. That'll help out later. But you got to keep the frame. That is one thing. Like I get eight up on, like the keep the frame uh, consistent, and that will help you pose, um, get the the feet into the proper position. All right. So then you want to these little pieces here. You want to get the treads in line, and tab that in, and then tab the arms in. Same on the other side. And then tab the uh, little tab in there. And then you can bring this up and this uh, slot there and hopefully your feet are still together. And let's see. Once again, there's that frame. I bent that frame. There. And then you take a... Uh, look, I did it again. That's that's my, my main issue. And this might be a personal issue, you know, that I have a hard time keeping that frame straight. Uh, you take your gun and tab that into there. And then you sit these along the side of it. And... Uh, let's see, you can take this, it's like the back piece of it, and tab that in, and then take the shovel, and tab that in. There. And there you have it. I'll get them cleaned up, we'll take a look at them. So there it is. It actually rolls, because uh, it has wheels down here, which I wasn't even expecting. So that's pretty cool. And then the turret uh, rotates, um, and that's not hateful either. I, I don't think this looks bad. <laughs> like, it, it, it's hard getting everything tabbed in and, like, uh, lined up right. But other than that, it's it's a pretty cool little thing. Somebody told me that it looks like Metal Slug video game tank. I don't know. I, I, I Googled it, and I see where they're coming from, but I don't know enough about it to really comment on it. Um, size comparison, there he is with our, our Tiger Tracks buddy. So you can kind of get an idea of scale. And, uh, yeah, and then this is what it does. I mean, the, the tires on the, the top. I mean, it, there is a lot of thought here, I, m I must say. Final thoughts-wise, yeah. He's, uh, he's, um, well, it's like, the, what am I going to say about this thing? Well, I guess first, let's just give a size comparison. There he is next to uh, uh, Hasbro Deluxe. Look, here's the bad. There's a lot of die cast. There's paint on the die cast, so some of the die cast is chipping. You can see it on the feet. You can see it on the shovel. However, for the look, I can see how a worn weather look would kind of look okay anyway, because he's kind of, you know, kind of junky looking anyway. Um, in, in, in that regard, just design-wise, aesthetically, there there is a lot of pieces that have to kind of line up and tab up, and some of the connections aren't as secure as you would like them to be. Some are more secure than you would imagine them to be. But the ones that aren't as secure as you would like them to be kind of cause for a frustrating experience that you're trying to manipulate the thing around. The only other thing is our articulation is relatively limited, but it is also a small guy. That being said, for the limited hardware that's there for joint manipulation, you do get a lot of poses out of him. I guess the only other negative would be like, what is it? Do you know what I mean? I've, I've heard people say it's supposed to be um, some monster from Dark of the Moon. I, I looked it up. Uh, Igor. Don't see it. I, I see the connection, but it's too far removed from that for me to actually believe that that's what it's supposed to be. But if you want that to be the case, you know, imagination is the key. Go for it. However, positives-wise, there's tons of paint. The paint is applied well. 
The articulation is pretty good for the limited amount of articulation actually kind of intended for it. The transformation is interesting, even if there are some parts that I wish operated a little bit better. I would like to see them tackle a character I'd actually be interested in and, and see how they would do the transformation. Like the whole thing with the frame manipulating around and all that kind of stuff. It's just something new, something different, something we don't see all the time. And I dig that. Three accessories, all done well, all integrated into the final piece. I, I wish that the shovel tabbed in a couple places, but... You know, for what this is, I don't even know how much it costs because I, 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 I wasn't—I'm not interested in it personally. I have no connection to it. But for what this is, if you like the—I think it comes down to this, right? If you like the way this looks, you'll like this. If you're like, man, I want this little thing on my shelf, then there's nothing bad enough about it for me not to recommend it. So shout out to Hung for letting me take a look at it, and shout out to you guys for watching a video about it because <laughs> I probably wouldn't. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. Until next time, take care.